Alrighty, so the next skill that I'm going to show you guys is how to provide denture care to your patient, okay? Um, so you are going to need gloves for this. You're actually going to need two pairs of gloves. So what I like to do is I like to think of this as having almost two patients. The dentures is patient number one and your human being patient is patient number two. So that way you can kind of get into that mindset. So I'm going to go ahead and enter, alright? So I'm going to knock, enter. Good morning Mrs. Jones, how are we doing today? Good. Fantastic. My name is Michael and I'm going to be your CNA today. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and provide a denture care for you. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So now you've introduced yourself. So you're going to come over and close your curtain, okay, for privacy. You're going to go ahead and wash your hands. All right. So we're going to start off by placing a chuck, okay, on the table here. So that way we have a nice, nice clean area to put our, our stuff down, okay. And then I'm also going to go ahead and grab a clothing protector, okay. There we go. So I'm going to put that down. Okay. I'm going to get some water for my patient. And you're going to find yourself going back and forth a few times with this. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, toothbrush and my toothpaste. I'm also going to get uh, what's called a toothette. Right. And I'm also going to get my emesis basin. Okay. And this is your toothette. It's just a sponge on the end of a stick. Okay. So we've got that. And I'm just going to get my two pairs of gloves. So I've got my two pairs of gloves. Okay. What I like to do is I like to place one pair of gloves near the dentures and the other one right in front of my patient. So that way I know that one goes to patient number one and then patient number two. Okay. So next what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to come over and prepare my sink. Okay. Because this is where I'm going to clean the patient's dentures. So I'm going to grab three paper towels out of the dispenser. So one, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little chuck here with my paper towels, okay? Two on the side and one goes down into the sink. And that's not necessarily to protect the dentures from impact, but it's to keep them necessarily, if they break apart, you don't want anything going down the drain, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my gloves, okay? And you're just gonna let the patient know that uh, Ms. Jones, we're just gonna go ahead and take care of your dentures first, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put our gloves on. Again, you want to make sure that you choose the appropriate size of glove for your hand. Especially if you're a little, little nervous, you want to make sure that uh, you get slightly bigger gloves so that they're a little easier to put on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take the patient's dentures. I'm going to take the toothpaste and the toothbrush. We're going to come right on over to the sink area. Okay, making sure that you place everything on the barrier. Okay, you are not allowed to place anything on a bare surface. Okay, clean barrier to clean barrier. All right, so when we first get here, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water, soften the bristles a little bit, and put my toothpaste on the brush, and then put the toothbrush back on my barrier. Okay, now when you open this up, this is going to be full of water. Okay because the dentures are always going to be submerged in water. Now, this water is going to be dirty. So what you need to do is you need to rinse it out, okay, three times with the water. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to fill this container back up with cold water, okay? So now we have our dentures here. We're going to make sure we have a firm grip on them, okay, because they can get slippery when they get wet. And now I have my toothpaste, and I'm going to go ahead and brush, okay? the gums of the dentures and the teeth, okay? No specific time, you just wanna make sure that you get them uh, you know, nice and clean, all right? So, toothbrush gets thrown away, all right? You wanna go ahead and make sure you get all of the toothpaste off of the dentures, all right? And then you're gonna place them back into the cool, clean water, all right? We're gonna go ahead and secure that and then we're going to make sure that we take our toothpaste 
and our dentures and we're going to go ahead and put them back on our table where our patient is. Okay. There we go. And you want to make sure that before you leave, this is still related to patient number one, the dentures. So you're going to go ahead and clean up. Okay. That means gloves too. All right. So your first pair of gloves are going to go ahead along with the paper towel. And now you're going to go ahead and put on your second pair of gloves. All right. So again, if some of you are getting confused, maybe, well, where is he getting patient number one and patient number two? This is where I'm getting it from. Patient one is going to be your dentures. Patient number two is the human being. And that makes it a little bit easier because this is a lengthier skill. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my second pair of gloves on. Hey, Mrs. Jones, is it okay if I put this clothing protector on you? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So you're just going to ask your patient if they can, if you can put this clothing protector on them. Okay. You just mind pulling your hair back a little bit? I just don't want to get it caught there. Thank you. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead and have a seat. Okay. There we go. All right. So I have my water. I have my emesis basin and my tooth end. Okay, so what I'm going to do, take this out of the packaging, it will be sealed. Okay, you're just going to lightly dump it into the water. Okay, don't hold it in for a long time. You don't want the chemicals, uh, the toothpaste or anything to get into the water because they have to rinse. And now you're just going to brush the teeth, the tops, the sides, okay, the bottoms, and then the tongue. And remember, your patient just has gums. So when I say teeth, I really mean just the gums. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and discard your toothette and have them rinse. Okay, would you like to rinse again? Gosh. Okay, there we go. Excellent. I just like to take the new water and just put it right in the spit water, okay? And also put the toothette in there so you've kind of got your garbage together. Okay, so now we're just going to wipe the patient's mouth, make sure that nothing is coming down her mouth there and then I'm just going to take off my clothing protector okay roll it down and then place it in my hamper here alrighty Mr. Jones we're just going to go ahead and clean up here so I'm just going to take my toothette and my cup discard that in the trash okay now I now have my uh, my patient spit in here so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this okay it's a minimum of two times I like to do it three so if you watch any of my videos I just like to do it three it's just an your one to memorize. Okay, shut that off. Get my paper towels and you're going to clean this out. Do not keep this wet or don't, don't put it back wet, I should say. Okay, I'm going to put my toothpaste and my Mrs. Basin back. Okay, and then the last thing that I have to take is my chuck. Okay, so I'm just going to take it away from my patient, discard in the trash. Lastly is my gloves, okay, inside out, crumple up, that second glove is hungry, so it eats that first one, goes right up and over, so now you have a baggie for your gloves. Okay. Ms. Jones, is there anything else I can do for you today? No. Can I get you a magazine or anything? Uh, no. All right. So now we're going to exit our patient, we're going to place the call light as close to them as possible, okay, and then you're going to exit the room. Okay, you're going to open the curtain, perform hand hygiene, look at your skill, make sure you've done it correctly, and look to the evaluator and say, this skill is done.